and making ourselves famous. <laughs> Are you in there? Okay, Monday. Just gonna hop right in here, jump right to it. Uh, hit an upper body workout this morning. This is race week. This is the last week before High Rocks. Um, and I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous too, but I'm super excited. Um, so hit some strength, some strengthening this morning, some upper body, uh, threw in some sled pull at the end with some rower. Um, that was good. Anyway, starting off Monday right. Now, this weekend, I kind of want to recap this weekend. So I completed 75 hard on Friday and trained hard Friday through Saturday morning with um, some upper body on Friday into Chad Friday afternoon um, and then a good hard workout on Saturday morning. But then the rest of the weekend, um, I took it pretty slow, just kind of did um, some 45 to 50 minute walks um, a couple times a day. Now, I also ate like crap too. Um, had a lot of goodies, <clears throat> like cookies and candy and stuff that I don't normally eat. Did I track it? Yes. Did I maybe not track a few pieces of candy? Yeah, there's probably a couple pieces of candy I didn't track. Um, did it affect my training this morning? Absolutely. It absolutely affected my training this morning. And it honestly made me a little nervous about this weekend as well. Um, do I regret having the treats this weekend? A little bit. A little bit. Because um, it does honestly a little bit freak me out that it's going to affect my performance this weekend at High Rocks. But I think I can bounce back from it and um, get back on track and, and feel good this weekend. Did I learn from it? I did. I learned several things from it. Um, a couple things right off the bat, skip crumble cookie, go straight to cake house designs. Um, and yes, that's a plug for cake house designs. They are amazing. And, um, what's another thing I learned? Oreos aren't worth the money unless you're going to make something out of them. Um, the other thing I would say is don't always go straight to the sweets. Like I know for, for 75 days, you're limiting yourself to, um, whole foods and a, and a diet and a strict diet and uh, you're looking at all these sweets and stuff and you're like the you you really want them but you really only want them because you're you can't have them <clears throat> so skip the sweets and maybe go out to eat or um, cheat on some whole foods that you don't normally eat like biscuits and gravy maybe and that's a good thing good thing to think about is how many things do you want right now that you only want because you can't have them. Think about it a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so now that that's done, um, it's time to get back on my feet, time to get back on track. That's all we can do. There's no reason to stand around regretting it or walk around feeling like I can't fix it or like I should just give up and like, eh, it's all right. I already had a piece of candy. Might as well keep eating candy. Might as well keep doing this. No, I need to get back on my feet. Need to get back on track. Um, back onto training and get ready for this weekend. Um, and beyond this weekend as well. Okay, I know I've been kind of long-winded these past few days, but it's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, thankful November for today. I am extremely thankful for our ability to learn new things. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But... If we're not learning, we're not living. We're not moving forward at all. So we need to be changing. We need to be embracing change, learning, um, taking on opportunities and all those different things. Like I am extremely thankful for our ability to learn new things and do new things. And last but not least, 
I have a challenge for you guys today. Try to go the entire day today without talking about anybody else. Not a single word about another person. I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Monday. Let's kick some ass. Let's start this week off right. I'm back. I forgot something really important. On or throughout this weekend, these Saturday and Sunday, when I was eating not so great um, treats and snacks and cookies and stuff, uh, I still met my protein both days. Super important to meet your protein. Protein is the building box of life. It preserves your lean muscle tissue, it preserves your immune system, it preserves your hair, skin, and nails. Um, protein is extremely important, okay? So I still focused on hitting my protein both days. Now, one thing I did not do is get my protein in early. So there was a couple nights, or there was both nights, I had to kind of cram a bunch of protein. Um, and that definitely added some bloating into my evening rest. So <clears throat> hit up some OptiGreens at the, in the evenings, and that really helped that. Anyway, so the other thing I learned was to hit my protein early in the day. Hit your protein, guys, even on your fun days. And again, I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Monday. Kick some ass. Let's go. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of light left, but I'm going to try to grind some of the rust off of these lakes of the chairs. Got this grinding wheel that I'm going to stick on my grinder and see how that works. Now, ah, good news is the grinding wheel that I decided to get is working really good. Um, bad news is it's just already dark. Uh, but I was able to get one kind of uh, roughly done. So, um, and I think it's going to look out, it's going to start to look really cool as I start to grind on that metal. So, um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Hello. Anyway, you can see this one that I did is a lot better than the ones below it. So you did that one, Dad. I think this is gonna work out pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> thankful November. I am thankful for the awesome design of our bodies to be able to reproduce cells all the time to make us healing machines, self healers. Uh, Cause kind of been babying myself all weekend and a little bit yesterday uh, following doing the hero woe Chad really ripped up my booty and my legs. And I was not walking correctly all weekend. Anyway, um, so today was my first run after, or since Friday, since the Chad, the Chad. Uh, anyways, and I would just say like, our bodies are incredible. We can do something super tough, super hard, and then we can just freaking bounce back. You know, it's just, I'm thankful for that. Good work.
Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. Did uh, some conditioning this morning. Uh, kept it simple. Run, rower, skier, farmer's carry. Kept it simple. Um, <clears throat> not a whole lot to say this morning. A uh, little bit, um, I think just a little bit out of alignment with myself. Um, so trying to navigate that and re <laughs> realign myself with myself. Um, yeah. Okay. So, that being said, uh, being out of alignment with myself, I'm either focusing on something I can't control or um, being too hard on myself. Um, likely a little bit of both. But... <clears throat> <sighs> okay. Don't be too hard on yourself, guys. You guys are doing great. You guys are taking it one step at a time. And as long as you're moving in the right direction, it doesn't matter how fast you're going. Okay? <coughs> I love you guys. Let's have an amazing Tuesday. Real quick, thankful November. Uh, I'm extremely thankful for forgiveness for our ability to forgive each other and our ability to forgive ourselves and move forward in life um, beyond the mistakes we make or the mistakes other people make or the things other people do to us that we take offense to or that we consider wrong um, wrongdoings <clears throat> but God gave us the ability to forgive one another and I think that's a I think that's an amazing thing so I'm super thankful for that ah, so I think that's it don't be too hard on yourself control what you can control <clears throat> uh, forgive one another and make sure you're moving in the right direction. All right. I love you guys. Happy Tuesday. Keep moving. You're crazy. He ran back for a freaking stick. Where's the stick? <laughs>